Hey y'all, this is Pastor Murray, and today I'm excited to show you uh, my uh, retrofitted Hosswing Crew Chor 65 pound thrust brushless trolling motor that I've added to my Old Town Topwater PDL kayak. Now, this is a retrofit. I left my PDL in place and my rudder in place. This setup is reversible. Uh, I love my old town. I love the PDL and I've had it a little bit over two years and I've put as much as 18 miles on it in a day. Uh, strapper fishing, I'm a strapper fisherman and I fish, often I fish tail, a tail race and uh, during the day when they start uh, generation of power the water current starts flowing and sometimes it gets up to two to two and a half miles per hour. Uh, on a day's fishing, that can be a lot of work. So I'm 69 years old. I'm in uh, re really good shape as far as I'm concerned. But recently, after fishing on a hot day in July, uh, most of the day and fighting that current, uh, you know, on the way back into the landing, I had two miles to cover. And by the th it took me three hours to get back into the landing and I was working hard as I could. So I realized then if I'm going to keep fishing this area, this setup, uh, I need some help. And so primarily I mounted this motor to get me from point A to point B not uh, to be too fancy but also I uh, mounted it so I could use it uh, to fish with when I wanted to. Most of the time I use the PDL to fish with but uh, I have found myself last trip or two just trying out the capabilities of this and I'm really impressed. I'm happy with the setup and I would like to share with you. If you like this video uh, please uh, click like and subscribe we would love to have you to subscribe and i welcome your comments good or bad uh you know we can all learn from each other and i hope you can learn something from this video today thank you again so much for watching the thing i really like about this motor and the control is i can control the whole motor using this helmsmate u-joint tiller extension it makes it real convenient to be able to steer uh, from the kayak. Uh, I could concentrate on fishing. I can release it with my hand and my, I can start it. It's easy to start. You know, some people will cut their handles off and put the electronics up front, turn it on forward. And this is a, a stepless variable speed motor. I can just dial in the speed I want and it's, it's running. I can stop it easily. I can just tweak it and kind of you're going slow, or I can open it up full speed. And this thing generates one horsepower, so it's uh, really a lot of power, 65 pounds of thrust, and the uh, variable speed reverses sync. And also, what's neat about it, I can actually steer it. From here, using this U-joint ex tiller extension, uh, I can get a lot of range and motion out of it. And you notice I've got uh, rods in the way, like I'm fishing and all, and I can uh, do that well without any issues. So it's a neat setup. And also, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the skill switch. You know, I'm running, and I'm getting on down the lake. Say if I hit a stump or something and for some reason I fall out of it. Uh, it cuts the motor off and this safety kill switch keeps me attached to the kayak so uh, that's it's a plug-in it's 130 um, amp kill switch so it really is very unique and it just fits us perfect so we'll we'll show you how we mounted that on as well.
Another thing I like about this motor is the weight. This motor weighs 14 pounds, 65 pound thrust. Um, brushless motor is about half the size a comparable Newport 62 pound motor with brush weighs 23 pounds and the uh, price point on this thing is good too it's 299 dollars at amazon i'll definitely put the link on uh, <clears throat> you can uh, you can tighten it to uh, control the steering tension also uh, i'll launch it with this in position and uh, launch it and take it out of the water. I never have to adjust the height of it, um, set up good. But uh, when I do uh, store it or bring it home, this handle tilts. It'll tilt 90 degrees down, 90 degrees up. Also, uh, I usually pull it out. I have wire tie a zip tie to my seat to hold the handle in place while I'm fishing but once I want to store it or go I can uh, first I can disconnect the motor here if I want to but I can raise this up just to loosen this raise it up pull this forward and then I use my uh, <coughs> strap to secure the kayak with. I also secure my handle with it as well. So that's the way I transport it um, and that works great. <coughs> the other thing that I have in place is I don't like to leave this motor on my kayak. Uh, when I'm storing it at home. So, I'll show you how I remove it from the kayak. Okay, I uh, replaced the pivot pin in the, uh, it's a 10 millimeter pivot pin. I replaced it. These have clips, but replaced it with a quick uh, replacement, a 10 millimeter by 80 millimeter uh, clevis pin with a um, cotter pin, uh, quick disconnect. I have a spare with me just in case if I uh, forget it or lose it. And so I can pull this out. And I can disconnect this and that just comes right out and I can remove this trolling motor uh, from the kayak stored inside my garage and uh, keep it out of the weather and so also to put it back on is uh, really quick and again I, I transport the kayak with the trolling motor in So, I want to show you my uh, setup as far as how it's mounted to the kayak. Old Town, on their kayaks, they provide, uh, on the PELs, they provide uh, anchor pole mount and Navare Kayak has made an adapter, uh, anchor pole mount adapter, it's called a straight anchor pole mount adapter to uh, put this on and it uses the same holes that Old Town has already uh, 
has in the kayak with the uh, threaded inserts and this securely this mount this has a whole pattern for the standard uh, electric motor transom mount and this is a Newport transom mount and it's really solid it's made out of aluminum on material to space out so you could uh, attach your trolling motor to it clamp it to it I ended up having to put a three-quarter inch spacer in between because most of the threads were being used uh, so I, I didn't want it on the edge of the threads so when you do that you've got to go with longer uh, stainless and steel also, screws the uh, knobs I actually zip tied them together so they will not back off or turn it's secure and I also uh, secured my cabling uh, to that now I chose to put my quick disconnect here so I could remove it from the kayak and I ended up having to get uh, about eight uh, feet from Home uh, Depot I got eight feet of red and eight feet of black to match the uh, um, polarity and also I used eight gauge barrel connectors to crimp them each, each. and shrink tubing to um, make it waterproof and then uh, covered that with uh, electrical tape waterproof electrical tape okay I'm going to show you the uh, working end of it uh, this is probably what calls me the most work right here is just finding a space to put my battery a uh, hundred amp hour battery is uh, fairly large and as you can see I'm maxed out with my cooler I'm maxed out with my crate my yak gear crate uh, I carry about two gallons of uh, drinking water or Gatorade or frozen water bottles with me plus I've got the um, oxygen on here when I'm fishing with live blueback herring or live trout so I'm going to show you how I added these risers uh, they're I used a two by four, so it's three and a half inch riser. Just made them. I drilled a couple of holes in them and drilled two holes in my uh, seat pivot point here and put uh, zip ties in to secure them. I will paint these black to match the color scheme. So if I raise this forward, you see that's a huge battery. Now, 100 amp hour battery costs more than trolling motor but uh, this is good for 8,000 charges uh, I found out last uh, three times that I've taken it out that I use about 60% of the battery on a full day of fishing so another trick I, I used is I use zip ties and ran them through my scupper holes to secure the battery and also the uh, Minn Kota power center uh, I just used the top of the power center again because of space restrictions um, I used the foam that the battery was packed in to cushion my kayak uh, from the weight of the battery this 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery uh, weighs approximately 24 25 pounds so even though I raised my center of gravity by three and a half inches I added 27 pounds under me which gives it good stability in the water Sorry, this Minn Kota uh, power center has a built-in 60 amp uh, reset and a 10 amp reset the 10 amps are for your uh, AC or your cigarette um, adapters cigarette lighter adapters for uh, USB ports charging or uh, anything else you want to use them for so um, one modification show, show it to you is to mount the um, kill switch 
I had to cut out a, a, a slot and mount this kill switch uh, to the top of the plastic. It works well it's in, because it needs to be uh, pretty close to where you are, uh, where you're seated. And believe me, it works. It cuts it off. So always uh, use a kill switch. Always wear your life vest. And uh, I use a life cushion as well. And again, this kill switch uh, hooks around your ankle or knee or any place you want to hook it to. It's important that you wear it. And again, it tethers you to the kayak. So if you fall out, uh, you're tethered in. Kayak's not going to leave you. That's dangerous in current and wind, uh, different situations. And you don't plan for accidents. You don't plan on accidents happen, happening, but they do happen. So stay safe on the water. Again, uh, primarily I use the PDL when I fish, but I have been trying out this trolling motor uh, last three weeks just to see the capabilities. So I have been putting it to a lot of work and I'm really happy with it. Um, you know, later if I decide I want to make a more permanent setup and replace the rudder, I can do that. I can cut the shaft off. I can add all electronics to it to it but be honest with you I think simpler is better and this tiller uh, control solved a lot of issues a lot of problems and it's it's mechanical it's not electrical so it's possibly uh, will not fail like a electronic setup I'll put a, a clip of, of a speed test on this and current without current uh, it really uh, was impressive. This week I got it to five miles per hour with this kayak being maxed out. Uh, and that's with no current, but with, with current, uh, traveling against a two, two and a half mile per hour current, I got uh, a little bit over three miles per hour. Impressive. So uh, again, leave your comments and uh, suggestions and uh, questions and we'll be glad to get back. one of the advantages of that stepless trolling motor and the uh, low speed uh, the low speed i can get is miles per hour but um, <clears throat> this past week when i was fishing it was in current uh, at that point it was probably about a mile 1.5 miles to two miles per hour and i was able to dial in that speed control i picked up uh, some strappers on my uh, graph recorder marking some good fish right under me and i was able to dial in that speed control against the current facing into it and it was almost like i had spot lock on. It kept me right on uh, target, right on spot, and I was able to catch a really uh, nice 32, 33 inch striper. And uh, man, really, uh, it was a lot of fun. I'll have that video on here as well. So that's one of the advantages of this thing is uh, fishing in that current or. You know, I like to fish in um, the tides as well when we go to the coast. And on the east coast, we have seven foot tides in the uh, Myrtle Beach area. Um, and so, uh, you know, the river's always flowing there. It's either coming in or coming out. So I found out also uh, this past January when I was using PDL, the uh, I was fishing for sheephead in the Apalachicola River uh, and you know that river flows all the time and I had to pedal all the time to keep in spot so I'm looking forward to taking this setup back with me uh, this coming uh, January so again a great setup Woo! <laughs> hey 
I got a fish on. Woo! <laughs> wow! Wow! Man! Woo! He's pulling that drag. Woo! Woo! <laughs> woo! Woo! <laughs> Goodness gracious! Wow! What a fish! Woo! <laughs> Man, did he hit that thing! Woo! <laughs> woo! We're going for a sleigh ride, y'all! Woo! Man, he nailed it! <laughs> Woo. Woo. Man, oh man, oh man. What a fish, what a fish. Woo. Man, that's a good one. Woo. Good strap. Man. <laughs> Woo. Let's he might be ready for the net. Let's see if we can get him in here. Wow. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Get a pulse or uh, swim bait. Wow. Man, did he pull. Wow. Show it to you. Woo! 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 <laughs> woo! Man. Tow him a little bit and we'll let him go. We've been towing him around a little bit. Some more uh, oxygen in his gills. There he goes. Woo! Awesome. Thank you, buddy, for your ride. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm headed back into the boat ramp. Uh, heard some thunder and checked my radar. And uh, there's a tornado warning uh, pretty close. I'm not in the box, but I'm not far from it. So uh, we're going to head on in. Say, this is mainly to get me from point A to point B. So uh, we're going to see how fast we can get to point B. Um, so I'm going against current. I'm going against the one and a half mile per hour current. And my back's going against the mile and a half current. It's doing three feet. Five miles per hour. And, uh, the reason I got this is very thin. Come back in and uh, I'm fighting this current that fish all day. We're wearing it out. It's 69 years old. Hey, y'all. Uh, I thought I'd give this thing a little bit of help. Uh, 
good thing about having the PDL still in the kayak is I can give it some motor assist. So uh, with the 1.5 mile per hour current and uh, with the pedaling, I can add another half mile per hour. Uh, so it's not a whole lot of gain. Uh, we try to run the storm a little bit of help. So, uh, we'll give you updates on that. I tried it uh, this morning before the current started, and I got 5.02 miles per hour uh, with the pedal assist. Without the pedal assist, I got full miles per hour, which I'm really well satisfied with that, uh, considering how much this kayak is below the dam. Can I zoom in and... Oh. You can walk closer. Oh. Okay. It's, it's not a zoom. It's one way of zooming. Yeah, yeah you walk in and out. To zoom. <laughs> so I can walk in and walk out instead of zoom in, zoom out. And walk in and out smoothly smoothly yeah. don't trip don't trip any hangers no hangers you, you got to do a blooper on this okay 